What's up guys? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons and welcome back to another video. So, guys, things got crazy. Rooster is absolutely fighting us to no end. This truck, you would think that he wants to go back to work, but evidently he don't. Maybe he wants to stay in retirement, but he has absolutely fought us to, I mean, like it's been crazy. So what you're about to see is Rooster fighting us. After we put the video up the other day of him running, running perfect. I mean, it was absolutely running perfect. We got everything to where we wanted to run it. We wanted to let it get up to temperature and that way we could hot retorque everything, check all of our valve, our valve tolerances, all that stuff. And went to bump the cruise up. All of a sudden, he just goes crazy. I mean, I've never heard this truck act the way that it was acting. And we changed multiple fuel pumps. We went through the whole fuel system like two or three times. I'm talking from the tank forward. And Rob's really, really slick on cats and I'm pretty knowledgeable on cats to the fact that, I mean, we were scratching our heads, but we didn't give up. And you guys are about to get to see what we went through to make this happen, to get him back up and running. And I really feel like we're gonna make it to semi-casual. We are on the finish line and i want to get all the content i can to you but guys we are working 15 hours a day we've been working seven days a week and i love it love doing this stuff i just want to kind of let you guys know what's going on and update you as we go and for those of you that keep asking about weston's truck and all the haters on there saying we're building this truck and not worrying about weston's and all this stuff guys that build is going on in the background We've got a videographer coming. We're making an epic video of that whole build. It's gonna be its own series. And I will update you on it as soon as I can. Right now we're dealing with interior and paint and just a whole lot of stuff that, you know, it's hard to make content on. So as soon as we're ready to put the video up, I will update you. But don't think we're letting that truck sit. It is getting worked on just as much as Rooster is along with the Air Force truck and the 389. So. Just wanted to update you, but I'm gonna let you get to the video. Hold on, bro. I want to put that that bit in that back. I could. Which one? That fuel sensor. That should be pressure, though. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It should spray fuel. It wasn't that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, we should see fuel leaking somewhere. Everything from that pump on is pressure. Yeah. The fact that we've got insane fuel pressure from the pump. Guys, we took the line off over here, cranked the motor over, and it'll shoot fuel plumb over to the other side of the shop. But everything from that line on is pressure. Right. You got a metal line yeah. to the bar. The pressure falls down after it's run for a while. Take the That would be, if that was injector cup, it'd be full, cool, right? There's no way it 
fuel sensor to be blocking it off. It's a, I believe. Yeah. That's what that is. And here we go. Take. Take 22. Yep. Take 22. We're going 22. Remember that next time. <laughs> this time we changed the line too. Just for the heck of it. We tested that line three times now, but we fire it up, Brax. Turbo, I think it's gonna do good. What do you think, Brax? It sounds like rooster again. It does sound like rooster again. Probably when it up. Let's, uh, let's get the heck out of here. How about that? Let's call her quits. All right, guys, we are going to call it a night. Rooster is running again. So we're going to go get some things buttoned up on Rooster. That way we get a good fresh start tomorrow. We weren't going to work today. And 
So guys, I guarantee if knew, if Rob knew that I was going over here to work right now, he would be on his way over. That man works just as hard as I do. And he is, I mean, he's what, twice my age? So um, I ain't never seen nothing like it. He has always been that way though. Ever since the day I met him, even on other stuff besides my stuff, like, um, you know, he told me he was gonna help me do rooster. I never expected to, uh, I mean, it's been two weeks. We have literally worked on that engine and that truck for the last two weeks solid. Every single day, 10 to 15 hours a day. And he's he's never, he's not skipped a beat. Me and Brax, we like to work late at night because my phone don't ring at night. I try to get all my business done before it gets dark. And that gives us a little bit of freedom. So that's why we're here now phone ain't ringing everybody's dispatched um we should have a good three or four hours to get some stuff done and i want rob to be able to have a break i mean the man works seven days a week he has his whole entire life he's always helping somebody and i want to find out i want to find a way to be able to give to rob what he just give to us so i gotta take this back off this is actually an airline a very expensive airline um, so this fitting right here is the one we took it off, but we'd also changed it throughout the process. And we thought maybe that's what was leaking, but I don't, I don't know. Cause at the very end, we had a process of elimination, but, um, one thing I could do is put this fuel fitting back on it. See if it straightens out. Um, right now we know it's got 100, 100 pounds of fuel pressure um, with this line and this fitting. So if I change this line and this fitting and it does it again, we know it's right there. You gonna take a chance on it? Yes. Yeah, we can. All right, Brax, bring it back to life. If it's give it a little throttle if you have to, if it starts to die out, make sure it's a neutral. Neutral, all right, fire it up. guys so the one thing that we didn't mess with yesterday was this line that goes into the firewall and there's an o-ring in behind it so i'm gonna replace that o-ring and then because i mean that's there's nothing else that could suck air and this is the one thing i hooked back up this line and this line Which it ain't sucking air like it was yesterday. It ain't losing fuel. So I don't think the fuel pump was a big problem with it. But either way, this puts fuel inside the truck and it was what reads the fuel filter. And I don't want any, you know, it needs to be replaced either way. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna see what happens. All right, here we go. She is tight, new line. And it's got a new O-ring behind it. Fire it up, baby. Fire this girl up. She better have 100 pounds of fuel pressure. Go. 
lot better. I gotta hook the EGT gauge, rerun the rack, get the tack working, and the speedometer. I don't know if maybe they're backwards or something, because the speedometer, the speedometer's reading like 100 mile an hour, putting miles on it, sitting there. I think there's backwards bracket. And that wire goes right here into this harness. Yeah. Wonder which one's the speed on running the tack. Because uh. that wire there is long enough to go back there, and this one up here. Let's see where is it plugged up? Oh, that should be right. Is there a way you can switch them around? Uh, maybe up here in the harness. Um, I've had them before when they were backwards. So guys, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna play process of elimination real quick and unhook the speed sensor. And then run it back. Okay. Racks, pull up. Can you pull that wire out? Is it on the other side? Yep, on the other side, up on top. You'll see it's on top of the transmission. Oh, that one? Yep, big long one. Yep, pull it out. All of it. Got it? Let me have it down here. Let's unplug this. Should be the same exact plug. Yep. Plug it up. There you go. Now let me go and get out of here. Yeah, I bet you got an attack. I hope it's that easy. Oh, it moved. All right, come on, baby, work, work. Oh, nope. The speedometer ain't going crazy now. I'm not the one that put that sensor in. I didn't adjust it. So that's the RPM? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Open the sensor just thing. Just to dry. Why? The thing isn't lined up and it turns a little bit. Sorry. See if you can move it. I'll pull out. Easy now, break the... Here, let me put it in place for you and then you can put the bolts in it. Brax took the quarter fenders off. He's getting all the brakes hooked back up. 
dirty in there. Yeah, we still got some bleeding, I stuck a piece of metal in my finger under there. I pulled it out and it burns. A couple minutes. Should be. Should have some back breaks. My break can be hooked up, but. How do you take it off? I have no clue, mate. Right? These are automatic gestures. <laughs> You're ready to drive this thing, ain't you? Yeah. And your back brakes. Ain't no front brakes yet. You should do what she's supposed to. There we go. Release them. Mash. There you go. All right. Set them. Perfect. We got brakes. All right. Transmission shifts. All the airbags are aired up. It said all night last night there and it didn't leak out. All right. Put the front chambers on and. So I'm gonna finish wiring this truck up. Oh, I got the tack fixed, guys. Yep. One of the wires. It wasn't either one of the harnesses we thought it was. This one here has got to be a temperature gauge. Uh, one of them, I'd seen yellow paint on the one that was going to the temperature gauge over the back of the transmission. I thought, well, Devin painted this motor and painted my harness. So I went over there and found it and ran it back across, hooked it up, fired it up, and we had temperature gauge, or tack, which is this wire right here. So I got to get it ran like I want to and then find me a couple of brackets to put on, take them bolts out of the bell house and then Make it nice and neat. But I'm guessing this one's going to be the temperature gauge for the transmission. All right, on to the next project. We got to uh, wire in the the, uh, the no-no sensor. So when this thing says no-no, you let out the pedal. This is uh, the sensor that saves your life most of the time. So I got a uh, Dewitt's connector. This is your EGT bung gauge. You know, I, I call it EGT bung. And then you got EGT probe. And then this is the wire that runs to it, which also runs here. So these got snipped in the past. And they were always just hardwired in, but this time I'm gonna run a nice little Dewitt's connector and hook it up the right way. Just in case I've ever, I gotta change this, because we are testing these turbos. So the, if we gotta do any changes on the turbo, I'd rather just be able to un, unhook it instead of having to cut it and rewire it in every time. All right, so the way I do this connector works, you get these little rubber pieces. They usually come in a kit with it. You just slide them on your wires. You got a plug and then another clip. And then these clips just slide on the wire right here and then you lock them into place. And then all that will just slide into that connector and you'll put this on as your lock. And then voila, it'll plug in here. Voila, and just like that, 
She's together. Look at that beauty. Get that pushed in there a little bit further. But it's together and now it should hook up. I gotta put the lock on it. Well, you done, Brax? Have a nice, beautiful stack. You're taking them all. Yeah. What are these? Dynaflex? Losing all the nuts and stuff to it. Alright, I guess that means Rooster's getting a new set of stacks. Oh, whoa, what is this? What have we got here, boys? Surely not. But yeah, guys, Rooster's getting a new set of stacks. These are the set of stacks I had laying around at the house that I got for the W9 and never used them. And we're gonna stick them on Rooster. So we gotta get them, <coughs> get the stacks off of it. We gotta get the cab panels changed. You get shifter in it, shifter plate. Uh, we're done with the engine. Still got this one wire I've got to run over. Uh, I didn't get the EGT hooked up last night. Turned out pretty good. I really like these. So we're getting there. And then Nate got here this morning. I know you missed me. Everybody's hey, been you. asking about it in the comments. Where's Nate at? Where's Nate? Oh, really? Yeah. I'm touched. People actually like me. Uh, they didn't say they liked you. They just want to know where he's at. Oh. <laughs> well, I was feeling. Maybe they do like you. What do you think, Brax? We going to hear this thing rumble today? Through the pipes. I want to hear it through the pipes. Back here for some AC work and put a new condenser. All right, first pop is on. That is looking good, guys. Who rooster standing tall now? Man, I was worried they were gonna be just a little bit too big and kind of stand out, but they really look good. They look real good. We got Nate pulling the fifth wheel off. A lot of going on today with this thing. She's nasty, ain't she? It's all right to say that she missed me. Oh gosh. It's all right. It's nice to have you back up here, Nate. Oh, my goodness. You heard it. You heard him say it. I want you to feel good about yourself, buddy. I we missed you, Nate. Better. Does that make you feel better? We missed you, bud. Yeah, we're putting a new harness on it. Uh, what are you talking about? Like, like, where, like I'm where each individual get wire goes into the light. Can we just get the whole just harness? I'm getting the whole harness right? off. Because we're putting a new... Yeah, ain't that right, Rob? It goes on my grind. Huh? Putting a whole new harness on them light panels, right? Yeah. So you can just take the whole harness off. I don't know what's on it, but yeah. Take the panels all the way off. Yeah. That's good, I'm plugged up. They're either plugged up or they're wired in. I don't know. They want this light on our shirt. Yeah. yeah. Man, I can't believe you got that crease out. Uh, I told, told him we make pencil that in, try to cover this side up a little bit. A little bit, I mean, look better than that. Yeah. Yeah. Up for a car color. Yeah. Nail color might just be. Ma'am, I didn't even do that, right? Yeah. Why not? that with spray bomb that they can make for you. Yeah. And then uh, hit it, then try to pop it in. I'm trying to get the deep scratch the real black stuff off of it first. Right. This here is more of a polisher than a buffer. It won't go. I got that one of the, all that Milwaukee one. It's got just a little one about this big on it. That's a grind. That's a grinder. No, no, no. It's got the puff pad on it. We'll bring it in here. You got the black off that. Don't look as bad. Uh -huh. Ooh, they color it in. 
Well, no, we don't, we gotta get both sides. This panel in being real bad. I got the DNA stop this too. Guy bushings. I figured for winter we rebuild the do, do the top. Then I can take it and have it painted this winter. Cause I'm not gonna run it in the salt. What do you think, Rob? Let's see what we can do with it, boys. Man, this truck is pretty when it's shining. Yeah, I got it. I got the... It's radiant red metallic is what it's called. Yeah. I might cry a little bit when we put this hood on. Uh -huh. I said, I might cry a little bit when we put this hood on. Yeah, that's how you be taking the bed, get the hood on, put it in gear and drive down the road. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Y'all might have to resuscitate me. It's pretty quick. That still just a that pad is, but you can put yeah. a different pad on there. That pad's a little tough. Yeah, but move. Clear out. Rob's spitting stuff everywhere. You can clean it up pretty good, ain't it? better than it was. Oh, 10 times better than it was. I mean, you're going to see it, but it ain't nothing. Hey, you're going to keep working at it. Painted, I think, three or four years ago. Who painted? Peter Bell. Not. Yeah. Guys, I am so I can't wait. We got three more days that we have to leave for the show. What do you think about the house? I think we got a lot going on on this trip. I think there is a lot going on. Show, showtime prep. Oh yeah. Show truck prep time, baby. <laughs> Show truck prep time with Tim Gentry. Yes, sir. That's your new segment. What do you think about Brax? Yeah. You got the inside ready for the show? You got to get the visor on it. You got to get the... There ain't no way you got a dream catcher in Rooster, bro. Oh, I do, bud. Why? Because it gives you having bad dreams. For why? I don't do nothing to give me bad dreams, buddy. When you drive this evil monster down the road, it gives you oh, nightmares. Geez. That power kicks in and just scares the life out of oh, you. Oh, jeez. It scares the life out of you, all the power this sucker puts down. Yeah, but. As much yeah, as but, you're ripping Detroit, you're going to have a cat and Hey, I, I'm not. I like them all, baby. Another nice eggs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New visor's coming. Be here tomorrow. Guys, are we gonna make it? Are we going to make it to semi-casual? Oh. Brax, we gotta change them rear lights out too on the back. Back here. Them's gotta be changed out. We gotta fix them scratches. Put the airlines back on. There's so much to do. Can't get her out there, bud. What was that? 
Bad, sir. Roll that up. No. All right, if I can see, I can whip. Come back to your jaws shop anytime. Oh yeah. New probe. We had to end up changing the probe, guys, because evidently it's special. We couldn't get the other one to work. Bring the pop. Oh, I got this pop. All right, guys, we got the second pop on. Let me go look at it from the front. Oh, dude. Dude. Man, that looks good, guys. Oh. Gives us some character. Thank 
come down now. Back on the back side of that finger, bump it forward. You need to go down and just sit down. Push it down on that. There we go. Put your nut on. Alright, guys, the hood is on, stacks are on, and it it's missing the visor, it's missing the bumper. So it, I don't know if I like the stacks yet or not. They're big. I think they're just, I think it's just because nothing else is on it. Yeah. They're only 12 foot tall. I think if they're a little taller, I'd like them. They need to be like- It's a little late for that, buddy. 12, six, 12, five. Yeah. I don't know, maybe with the visor and stuff. It'll help with going in the boat yards that are yeah. Short. Brack, fire it up. Let's hear it. That's tree wagon. Let's hear it rumble, baby. It's going to have to sound good. Maybe this will make me feel better about them. This thing is rowdy. When you bumped that throttle, it just shook the whole truck. <laughs> Dude, this thing is ridiculous. This is awesome. Filming this thing, guys, I'm telling you right now, the sound of this truck, will, this camera is not doing this any justice. So come to semi-casual show in here. I'm telling you, this thing is going to be downright rowdy. Oh, it's a freaking ripper. It's never revved like that. No. It was a mean little machine before, but it's never ran like, oh my goodness. I agree, I think once Woo! the bumper and the visor on them stacks are gonna look a lot more normal. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just judging too quick. The well, sound- The truck is still half naked. Without the yeah. visor, it makes it look like an older style of Peterbilt. Yeah. Makes it look like a fear belt. Like grandpa mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No visor, Sweet no bumper. More. And it's long enough too. Looks like Once we get it outside, we can see it from this. <laughs> I think seeing it outside too help out a lot. <laughs> Guys, it is unbelievable what, how much work we've got done in a few weeks. Three long weeks. And we're about to make it four. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with Rob though. That man works. And it ain't like, like we can try to jump in there and like, you know, take it easy, Rob, and he'll get mad at you. Well, get out of my way. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Yep. Like he loves to work. He don't, he loves working on his trucks. There's no doubt about it. He's got to. He ain't doing it for the money. So he's just, uh, he just, he just flat out loves working on these trucks. And he jumps <laughs> right in there. If you try to jump in there, he'll move you out of the way. And that's pretty, he's a, he was, he's a worker now. 
if there's things I want to do a little different or, or we're going to work on, I'll have to wait until he goes home and stay all night. So, <laughs> but you know what? I'm enjoying the heck out of it, building, building it with Rob. So, um, he's did a killer job. He's taught us so much. And I mean, I'm not no professional truck builder or anything like that. I am at best a very, very amateur. I mean, we're learning as we go. I can keep my trucks going, build motors, all that stuff. But when it comes to building a show truck or, you know, this stuff like we're doing here, Rob has taught me a lot of stuff. And I am not afraid to admit, you know, we're learning this stuff. But everybody has to start somewhere and I'm lucky enough to learn from one of the best. So I'm very, very blessed with that. But we've got to work on this tomorrow. We've got a lot to go. It is Monday night. And we've got to be at semi-casual Thursday. Tomorrow's going to be a hard day, Brad. Are you ready? This is your last week out of school. And it's we got a lot of work to do. I think the Air Force truck we need, or uh, we polish tomorrow. And yeah, Brax has got a guy up here detailing his truck right now, polishing it and cleaning it up. Yeah, she got tomorrow. Cool things. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, that's it's been a long couple days. That's going to finish off the video. And. The next video you guys will be seeing will be driving this thing down the road. Hopefully, that's the next video you see. I know everybody's excited for it. I'm excited for it. I haven't got to drive it yet. We're just now got the hood back on it. Finished buttoning up the transmission stuff today. We had to get the new cooler on it and all that stuff. So, she is really close to being able to drive down the road. Guys, I'm wore out. I'm ready to go home. Get a couple hours sleep. We got to be back in here at 7 o'clock in the morning. And... We'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys, and thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting us.